So if you missed the video, I ended up buying the Panasonic GH6. Now, I'm gonna be making a lot more other videos getting the nitty gritty of details, specs, and different things about the GH6. So if you have any questions, definitely leave that in the comments below. I plan to be using this as a professional workhouse camera for my career, but in this video, I'm going to show you guys on how I broke down this camera rig right here, all the different things I added, why I added it in a certain way, and I ended up just buying this entire camera rig right off the bat and what are the advantages of that. Now, obviously at the main core of this rig is the GH6 itself with just the basic GH6 cage. The only reason I got this is literally because it's going to save me 40 bucks instead of the Black Mamba. And I honestly like it. I There's not a lot of negative things. It's just a cage. And on the bottom, I have just a small rig mount for my 15 mil rods, which right here, I believe these are both just six inch rods. I prefer to have shorter rods just because I know I don't like having long rods that are just super lengthy. I like having my rig be compact if I want it to be or be really big if I don't want it to be. So to power this up, I do have a V-mount battery plate that I put on the back right here. I screw this one on, screw this one on. So right here is the my V-mount battery power option. I use the ZG Cine V99 power. The reason I use this one is because they're very similar to the small rig ones. I have an entire video on them, but they're way cheaper than the small rig ones and they look super professional and you can see your battery indicator on the back here. To power the camera with the V-mount, I'm using this dummy battery from Corridor Blue. One of the downsides to the GH6, and it doesn't bother me too much since the G9 had the same issue, is there's no little way to take this door off, or you need a very specific um, type of DC battery. Now for my lenses, I have two cine lenses that are my primary lenses right now. I'm using the Mikey 25 mil and 50 mil, so our 50 and 100 mil equivalent. Um, personally, almost nine or eight out of 10 times, if I'm filming any B-roll or almost anything, I have this 25 mil on. On top of the rig, I'm using the Nanote, 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 um, small rig top handle. I really like having everything just be able to screw on with my finger and not having to use any tools. That's kind of how I design all my camera cages now is being able to use them without having to pull out a small rig tool or pull out some wrenches or screws. I prefer doing that. On right here, I'm using the small rig mini follow focus for my focus pulling. Uh, I also have the small rig mini map box. Honestly, I had just have this one for looks and two for flares, but let's be real. It's all basically just for looks. On top of the entire cage, I'm gonna be pitting my Andy Cine 3000 nit monitor. This is an extremely, extremely bright monitor that is I'm able to see during the day. I do need some extra batteries or I will use a USB-C or a DC to power this uh, monitor during the day if it's longer shoots. And then I'm just using the basic small rig HDMI to plug this in. I typically like having this core run underneath my follow focus so it's just out of the way for the entire day and then lastly i have a mount that goes on the back of the unit i am still in the debation if i want to actually record everything onto ssd or sd cards currently i'm not shooting in the higher quality formats just yet since none of my clients need that so I do have an SSD mount for the future. Right now, I'm not in a point of my life where I'm shooting that high of quality. I can use 5.7K on an SD card. I can use 4K 120 frames a second on an SD. There's a lot of other features that I can't use without a uh, CF Express or an SSD recording. So I do have a mount where I can mount this on to my camera, but I personally don't use SSD recording just yet. I'm still testing out if I really need to or if my SD cards can get by just fine recording on them. Hope you enjoyed this little breakdown of my GH6 camera cage. If you haven't already, check out this video right here about the GH6 and my first impressions. And YouTube recommends this video right here. Until next week, guys, peace.